Good evening, everyone, and thank you to our students and student government advisors for being with us tonight. I can see some of you in the stands, so I'm very excited in the stands. <laughs> I can see some of you in the library, um, so that is very exciting. Welcome, everyone. Tonight, we have our annual student government associations presenting for us tonight. They will talk to us about what are their points of pride and their accomplishments so far this school year, their current initiatives that they have underway, and some of the goals that they're hoping to accomplish in the next couple months of this school year. So starting it off tonight is our Bedford Road School representatives. We have with us um, two representatives, and I will call them up and let them introduce themselves to you. So let's go to the BRS slide and have our student government reps come on up. Hello, my name is Leroy LeBlanc, the president of the BRS Student Council. Hello, my name is Connor Byrne, the vice president of BRS Student Council. Tonight, we want to talk about some of the things the BRS Student Council has accomplished this year. We have made some changes at recess. We got pennies for recess so that we could tell what teams people are on when they play sports. We also started choice seating Fridays for the fourth graders at lunch. We can sit with two other classes each Friday. And starting tomorrow, we can sit with any class. We also did a candy jar for the first responders around Halloween and a toy jar for Toys for Tots. Sometimes we get to do announcements to share with the school what different drives we're doing and how we put them to put together Spirit Week. This week, for example, we had the 100th day of school. I put 100 safety pins on my back. This, oh, this month is kindness month at BRX. The student council is working on kindness hearts. They say a quote of kindness or an act of kindness. All the kids in the school are making one. We are hanging them up on chalk walls on each floor. We have some goals. Our goal is that we fourth graders will be able to sit with other classes every day of the week at lunch. We are working on an assembly with Will Shorts. He is a New York Times editor that makes and edits crossword puzzles. He, he also wrote books on Sudoku and Ken Ken. He lives in Pleasantville and has a ping pong club in town. One thing we want to add is that this year is the largest BRS student council ever. We have four representatives from each class. The last thing we are working on is having more recess activities. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Hey guys, stay up there for a second. Stay up there for a second. We got a couple of questions for you. Come on. Get back up there, you're not done. <laughs> not done yet, we have, we have a lot of serious questions. Um, first off, I'd like to congratulate both of you. It is really hard public speaking and it's amazing to see um, how well you guys did it and how calm and relaxed you were. It's, it's a tough skill to learn as an adult, so learning it as a child is absolutely amazing. Um, very curious, what's your favorite part of BRS? Um. <laughs> Recess? Kind of. Yeah. Usually. <laughs> Usually, right? I like like the specials and I like working with the student council on new things. Yeah. Also okay. recess is good too. That's great. <laughs> and I, I love that you're gonna get to do the uh, free seating or the what is it called? Choice seating on Friday. Mm -hmm. So that's all fourth graders get to sit with whoever they want? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but well, uh, for the first times we only did it with two other classes, but okay. starting Friday tomorrow, we're gonna be able to do it with. That's really classes. awesome. Mm -hmm. So did you all earn that? You earned being able to. Do uh, it the student council actually decided that we we like we we suggested it in one of our meetings, mm -hmm. and then they did it. So we had three classes to sit with, but now this Friday we're able to sit with everyone we want. So do you okay. know what that's called? That's no. called advocacy. Mm -hmm. You guys had something you wanted. You put your need out there, you spoke to your principal, you stated your case, something tells me you, you had a good argument, and she said, let's give it a try. That's what advocacy is all about. And actually tonight, we're gonna to be talking about getting our community to advocate 
too. So thank you for showing the grown-ups that advocacy works. <laughs> Great job. I applaud you. Great job. Is there anyone from the middle school that would like to speak? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. So I am very proud to introduce two members of our student government who are led by Ms. Roth and Mrs. Leiden, two of our counselors. And these two members, Gemma Cascardo and Sofia Laponzina, are two very active members who have taken part in a, making a lot of change happen and paying it forward. And they would like to share a couple stories of their own to uh, everyone in the community on their successes. So in the beginning of the year, we had our Halloween costume contest and photo booth for all of the grades. Um, so the photo booth was, so basically the kids bring a dollar to school and then you, they give it to the photo person and then they get to take a photo and all the profits go to St. Jude's. And we raised over $300 for St. Jude's. And then during recess, everyone goes in their costumes like, and they walk around the basketball court and they um, like show off their costumes and then the student council votes on the best costume, like the best group costume and the scariest costume and then the winners of like the votes get gift cards to Starbucks or Dunkin'. We also, this past week, recently did gratitude cards for faculty members. So student council members volunteered to write out these cards for some of their favorite teachers or members of the faculty in the middle school. And we would help out fifth and sixth graders or all students write them out so that then student council delivered them um, to the teachers actually yesterday and there's a lot of thank yous around the school and it just really shows the amount of appreci appreciation that all students really have their, for their teachers. We also did a Super Bowl fundraiser for, um, wait what was it? It was for a children's yeah. hospital and we raised over $200. Wow, that's great. Uh, basically we had um, you pick which team you thought that was going to win for the Super Bowl, and you would put a dollar in that box. And uh, whoever won that team, that box, the student council or the main office, they picked out a name, and that person won a free lunch with three of their friends. Mm -hmm. And it was very, it was very successful. It was and, very popular. Yeah, and it was very popular. There was a lot of donations <laughs> made. <laughs> um, and it was just a great uh, fundraiser overall, and we raised a lot of money this year, along with um, a lot of our other food drives, like the Thanksgiving food drive, um, and especially the Super Bowl fundraiser. That's that's fantastic. We're spending a lot of time advocating for um, for charities and raising yeah. funds for charities. That's mm -hmm. that's really admirable and uh, really uh, a core value that uh, that Pleasantville has. So it's amazing to see uh, the younger generation picking that up. I'd love to ask a Thank question you. if I can. Absolutely. What are you both looking forward to the most for the rest of the school year in your student government? What are you most excited about? Uh, yeah. Or what are you most proud of that you've already done? The play. The play. The, yeah. Definitely the play. Yeah. That for was us, so fun. It was really fun. For us, the play was really fun. We both mm -hmm. um, started in it. But yeah, it's amazing. When yeah. is the play? The Adam Oh, it already happened. Oh, that's yeah. right. It was all sold out. It was sold out. <laughs> they, <laughs> well, there's so many things going on, it's hard to keep yeah. track. It was really fun. It was, um, a lot of students came. I know a lot of teachers came, and everybody just had a really fun time. And, yeah. Good. Thank you yeah. both for all the time you're putting into our school. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Joe Plumbo, the proud principal at Pleasantville High School. I'm excited to share some of the work that we're doing this evening. We've got a phenomenal student government. They do tremendous work here in the building and in the community, uh, led by a wonderful advisor, Mr. Tom Pafuto, who will introduce the folks who are here this evening to share with you. Good evening, I'd like to introduce our two senior officers Emmett McDermott and Angela Zhang, and they'll do the presentation tonight. They've worked 
with me for four years. I'm so proud of all the work that they've done, especially this year. They've done a great job. Um, our goal in student government is to promote inclusivity and unity. And uh, for our elected officers, we have the president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary in student government. But for those people who want to be a part of the club, they could be either representatives or senators without elections. And for accomplishments, uh, we had spirit weeks, and during one, we have spirit weeks during our holiday break and Thanksgiving break. We usually also have assemblies before break and have fun activities to do. Some activities were the talent show, the volleyball game with teachers. Uh, and the cooking making activity, which was really popular every single year we have done it. And this year, we had a successful homecoming dance after a long time. And there were over 240 kids that attended. Some other activities that we plan also might do is like dodgeball. And recently, we donated to a women's shelter called Hope Store. We had adult bags that had face masks, soap, lip balm, and chocolate for recent, like a couple days ago with our fundraiser. And the children bags had candy, small stuffed animals. And we're looking at more to do more opportunities and donate more food and like money to them since they're like local and they're in Dornwood. Um, so for our initiatives in terms of clothing and food drive, prior to COVID, the Pleasant Hill High School student government liked to work with the Ronald McDonald House at Westchester Medical Center. Uh, the Ronald McDonald House, if anybody doesn't know it, is for basically families of patients at Westchester Medical Hospital. So if anybody say it's lives too far or something. So in the past, before COVID, we'd donate food and go to the house and actually cook it. And it was really popular. So in the spring, we plan to do that because we've kind of gotten clearance now without COVID, thankfully. And then, um, so in terms of service opportunities, that's the main one. And then the Hope Store we just did yesterday, actually, for Valentine's Day. We correlated it with Valentine's Day and chocolate. And yes, and then, um, so that we, she mentioned the toiletries and some chocolate and then kids we were able to get some stuffed animals for and it really went well. And then in terms of our goals, uh, one main goal that's really popular in student government is new ping pong tables for the cafeteria. Ooh, that's so a good one. if, I mean, Angela can definitely vouch for this and Mr. Bufudo, but if you go, so periods five, six and seven for lunch, you go downstairs, there is usually a long line to play ping pong because oh, we have so one table. Cool. So the, the student government, many, many people have asked to raise money to try and get How a few more. How many tables do you have? We have just one. Oh. So we, it's $500 a table, so we plan on doing some um, big sales and other sales to build up because we want to get more and just <laughs> make, do, do some tournaments. I mean. I get down there sometimes during my lunch period and I get too, I'm too far down on the list, don't even get a chance. Wow. <laughs> okay, we need some ping pong tables. Exactly. There should be a, there should be a adjoining between the BRS, uh, you know, with, with um, our local ping pong celebrity and, and you guys. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. Team up. That's good. So that's all we have. So no, no request for parking. I mean, like in years past, we've had, <laughs> what, what have we had, Mr. Palumbo, like open campus, we've had parking requests, like that's kind of fallen off. I guess we've they, solved they, all no, those No, they problems. asked for ping pong tables. The advocacy on those previous <laughs> years, so now we've moved tables. up to games, and which is good for, you know, all that SEL, social emotional, right? You gotta mm -hmm. like decompress during lunch. Yeah, definitely. I wanna, ping pong, I wanna I commend it. you though, guys, because uh, you started high school in the throes of COVID and seeing it come full around and bringing dances yeah. back to Pleasantville, the, from what I heard, I wasn't allowed to attend the dance, but from what I heard, it was fantastic and the, the kids loved it and that's really on your oh, shoulders. Yeah. Totally. I agree. I wanted to say something about it. Please. Yeah, come to the microphone. Is that I was very surprised that all the grade levels were there. Mm -hmm. 
Me too. It wasn't just it wasn't just you know freshmen or sophomores. They were freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. It was a real school event. Absolutely. And that's why we're going to try to do a dodgeball tournament either Friday or Saturday night. The same thing. You know, have the people make up uniforms, make up team names. We're going to we're going to get trophies. So sort of whoever wins, you know, so we'll have an annual trophy put someplace so we could continue this getting you know more activities at night and on the weekends Absolutely. for for the school and that's, that's what they've been working on so hard that the entire student government's been doing it so and i'm very proud of them that's it's, it's their initiatives you know i'm just there to help when i can and you know mr fondy and mr palumbo are really helpful in getting the parents and we have to really thank the parents sure. who were so helpful for the dance between between all the different parent groups that helped us you know, and I know they've already been thanked, but we can't thank them enough. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, we can go to the next slide. Thank you. All right, everybody. I just wanted to close out our amazing presentation by our student government leaders. In talking about our mission, the district's mission is to empower our students to thrive as lifelong learners, dynamic thinkers, and compassionate contributing citizens. And I think that these leaders are demonstrating all three of these attributes. They're also supporting our learning community. Specifically, I would point to ensuring that we have a safe, supportive environment of respect and collaboration along with them and their peers, exploring their individual passions and celebrating those accomplishments, and certainly demonstrating leadership and service. And I think that their leadership and service is not just restricted to the learning community, but also outside of our learning community. As you can see, their donations, their time, their energy, their support, and their passion go well beyond the doors of our three school buildings. So I know that you join me and appreciating them for all that they do in showing us how they can live the mission of the district by what they do through student government. So thank you to you guys. Thank you to your colleagues that are not presenting and thank you to the leaders um, and administrators for supporting the district and living out the mission. Thank you. <laughs>